Lately, I've seen a surge in reports from the community from people asking about the AI Core application. They're wondering why the app is taking up so much storage and using up so much RAM when they personally have zero clue as to what it's even doing on their Android device. So today, I want to explain what the AI Core application is. I can cover the handful of features that it's responsible for. And then I'll wrap up this video by first showing you how to reclaim that storage and RAM before offering a way to actually disable and remove the app from your smartphone or tablet. AI Core is an Android application that was introduced as a system service when Android 14 was launched. It has been specifically engineered to not only provide, but also manage on-device AI models. So most of you will have this on your phone as its way of working with the Gemini Nano AI model. You can think of it as a way for your smartphone and the apps that you have installed to interact with that on-device AI model. The AI Core application is really useful and it's actually been developed with privacy in mind. It is deeply integrated with the Private Compute Core, aka the PCC, for the sole reason of being able to process your most sensitive pieces of data in the most secure way possible. The Private Compute Core is a completely isolated partition that's sandboxed from the majority of the operating system. Not only is the data kept from the other apps on the device, but it's protected from the network as well. And this is why so many people are currently trusting it with their on-device AI tasks. But that doesn't tell us why it's using so much RAM and storage compared to other apps on our phone. You just learned that AI Core is an Android service that handles the back and forth between your apps and whatever on-device AI model that you're currently using. But not everyone is a fan of using these AI models. And most people don't even know which features are handled on the device and which ones are handled in the cloud. So earlier today, I did some research. And while this is not a definitive list, it should give you an idea as to which features are interacting with the AI Core application on your device. For example, Gboard has a smart reply feature that will leverage this service to generate suggestions for conversations within end-to-end -end encrypted applications. Google Messages is another app that will tap into the AI Core application for its Magic Compose feature to work properly. The Pixel Recorder application uses it to generate summaries of your audio recordings. And TalkBack, Android's native screen recorder, can even use it to significantly improve image descriptions when it's installed. But these are just some of the features that you could miss out on if you end up disabling or uninstalling the AI Core application from your device. But you need to remember that this is Android's way of communicating with on-device AI models. So there are going to be many third-party apps out there that will need access to it if you want to use all of their features to work properly. We're even seeing OEMs like Samsung and OnePlus using AI Core to power its features, including Galaxy AI. So any of those that boast privacy from handling your data on the device, they are all going to need AI Core on your phone in order to work right. And now that you know why the app is filling up with RAM and storage usage, but how can you actually reclaim it? Not everyone is going to be happy with this setup though. Some folks are going to be okay with having the service run in the background because they actually use some of these AI specific features.
but they're still going to be worried about the app taking up so much RAM and chewing through so much of your internal storage. So if you're noticing the AI Core app is using too much RAM, you can actually get that back by force stopping the app itself. And we can do that by first launching into the settings application, then diving into the apps section, tapping into see all of the apps that we have installed, and then doing a search up here for AI Core, and then tapping into that so that we can be brought to the app info page for this specific app. Now, right up here toward the top, you're gonna to see a button labeled Force Stop. Tapping on it will bring up a confirmation box and then confirming that we do want to kill it will actually drop everything that it's currently holding in RAM. Now, what if you're noticing that it's taking up a bunch of internal storage space as well? I'm seeing multiple threads with storage usage racking up into four, five, even six gigabytes at times. So we can handle this by tapping into the storage section of the app info page, and then clearing the cache before we clear the storage. Just like before, we confirm that's what we actually want to do. And then you'll see that the storage usage will drop. For anyone who is 100% sure that they do not want any on-device AI features at all, then you can go ahead and disable AI Core right from here if you want. This will prevent the application and the service from running in the background. It will not use up a whole bunch of RAM and it will not rack up a whole bunch of storage usage either because it will be completely disabled. Anyone who has a grayed out disable button will need to resort to using ADB or the Shizuku Kanta combination in order to remove the app from your device. I have a number of bloatware guides here on the channel, so I'll be sure to link to one of those down in the video description below. So if you're running into any issues disabling the app or trying to uninstall it with ADB or Kanta, then be sure to use the comment section down below to let me know. I do prefer the way Google has implemented its on-device AI features with the AI Core application. The way the private compute core handles all of the data is definitely how I prefer it to be done. But it's clear the app is capable of using too much RAM and too much internal storage while completing these tasks. So I do hope that Google is able to adjust some of these settings to prevent that from happening in the future. For now, it looks like we're going to have to manage this stuff ourselves, but at least Android provides us with the tools to get the job done. I hope this video was able to help you to understand what the AI Core app is, what it does, and why it's using so many of your resources. So please click on that like button so that more people are made aware of it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Android tips like this.